You're all right, bud. So it's a good, very good boy, gonna clean his ears. We're using the Epiotic Advance. Gonna hold the ear out and kind of make it kind of like a funnel. And the ear wash will roll in. It warms slightly. I'm holding the ear up so it stays in there. And you can kind of see that it will help to loosen up some of the debris and then it will come out. And then you can take your finger and you can go in and you can gather up some of this debris. Basically, just keep doing this until what I put in and what I bring out are clear and are looking good. And you're such a good boy. a small dog or a cat then we often need to use q-tips but if their ears are big enough then you can just wrap the little piece of paper towel around your finger and you can use that you can usually get that around most little cracks and crevices sometimes I'll take a clean part of the paper towel and I'll put it down deep in the ear canal and then I'll just kind of squeeze on it and then it helps to bring out some more of the debris. Their ear canals are kind of L-shaped, so there's a, a vertical canal that goes down, then it takes a sharp turn and goes in towards the eardrum, and I'm not getting anywhere close to being in the horizontal canal with my finger. I'm just in this top canal, and these poodle mixes they always have a problem with all this, this cute little curly hair. They're, they have a lot of hair in their ears as well. And it helps to hold in some of the moisture. The problem is with plucking it is that oftentimes that can cause more problems and irritation and they can get ear infections. You need a little chip clip to hold your ears back? <laughs> you need that? Okay.